We're comparing a free amp sim plus free effects you can download right now and a neural DSP plugin called Archetype Jira X. We're gonna see if the free amp sim has any chances on sounding at least a bit alike and if it has similar effect. Let's go. Okay, we have five words ready on which we'll test this on and let's start with the amp roots the free amp sim. Okay, I've added some saturation on top of it because it hadn't had any before and I also added some EQ because it was just lacking so much presence. Okay, this was Amped Roots and now Gajira X. I just cannot get enough presence out of the amped roots, but in the mix it sounds a lot better. Let's hear it. Now we're gonna try to simulate the Archetype Gajira Axis Octaver with a free plugin. Let's do it. All the plugins are gonna be in the description down below. For the Octaver, you don't even have to go to the description down below. It's built into your DAW probably. At least into Cubase it is built in. So let's try it. It definitely makes some weird sh What about the Gajira? Let's hear it! I love the sound and now we're gonna try Gajira with the free Octaver. So we can see the quality of the Gajira's Octaver and this Octaver without it being affected by the different tone. Let's do it! Okay, so that was Gajira with the free Octaver and this is Gajira with its Octaver. Okay, let's hear this in the full mix. That was gnarly, I love that. Now for the Amped Roots, the free version. It wasn't necessarily bad, you could get away with it, but you would have to do some EQing and really play around with it. But that's like for the mixing part. I give the Gajira Axis Octaver a 10 out of 10. And the normal Octaver with Amp Roots a 6 to 7 out of 10, so kinda 6.5. What about you? Tell me in the comments section. Okay, now a new riff and with that comes a new comparison. We're gonna see the power of the Gajira Access Doubler and whether or not the free doubler plugin, which I'm gonna show you in a second, is better or at least decent. By the way, if you like the riff on which we were comparing the tones on right now, then you should check out this video. It's a full video of writing the riff. It's a lot of fun and yeah, after watching this video, make sure to watch it. Okay, first up the full comparison of Ant Roots versus Gajira X without the doubler, with like it being doubled on its own. Okay, I love the presence and the clear transient. Okay, now we're gonna try the doublers. For Gajira X, we're gonna try its doubler. And for Amp Root, we're gonna try the free doubler.
for me it's just unrecognizable if there was any doubling done like artificially versus it being done like recording to guitars. I will recognize it. Now for Amped Roots. Okay, let's hear it without it being in the mix. This free doubler isn't that bad, but one thing I hate is this. It changes the tone so much. I ah, know. I just don't like this. So as for a comparison, this doubler changes the tone brutally, but the doubler on the Gajira X it doesn't change the tone at all, which is absolutely amazing and like the doubler is really quality, it's top quality on the Gajira X. The free doubler, I give it a 6 out of 10, it makes everything easier for you if you want to do it just quick for a demo, but you definitely have to record it two times for it to sound great. You can download this exact doubler, it's in the description down below. Again, if you like this riff, the full version of writing it is over here and in the description down below. Let's get to the next one. If you want a little bit more crisp, a little bit more drive to your signal, both amp sims got you covered, both the Gajira and the amp roots, the free amp sim, which were covering today, you know how it's called already, so I don't know why I'm mentioning it again, but yeah. <laughs> okay, both amp sims got you covered, but at what quality? Let's find out. Okay, this drive pedal does kind of a decent job adding the drive. Let's look on to the Gujira. Let's hear both of these in the full mix. First up, Gujira with Overdrive. Okay, now for Amp Roots in the full mix. Okay, the overdrive pedal does overdrive it, but Again, as for the Gujira, like the quality wins. As you can see. Yeah, but overall, I give the Amp Roots Overdrive pedal like a 7 out of 10, and the Gujira Axis again 10 out of 10. A really interesting thing about this riff is I have recorded it twice, once with 6 month old strings and the second time around with brand new strings. It's pretty interesting, the sound difference is pretty noticeable, make sure to check it out because I go in depth about writing this riff and yeah, you'll enjoy it. But after watching this video. Ok, over here we're comparing reverbs and delays. The Jura X has awesome reverb and delays, but there is an awesome plugin many of you probably know about that's absolutely killer for reverb and delay, and that's Valhalla. There's not much else to say, let's compare it. We're gonna put on only Gajira X, so we only compare the reverb and what you can do with it. Okay, first up, the Gejira Access Delay. You can set the subdivision, 
in which it explained Okay, so half notes, quarter notes You can add some tape saturation to your delays Some tape modulation You can make it ping pong That's it for the delay Now for the reverb Basic stuff like mix Decay time but one thing I love is this shimmer option. We'll increase the mix so you can hear it better. It adds this like synthy kind of layer to it. It's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Love this reverb. With both of these, you can make your guitars beautiful. Now, with Valhalla, you can do exactly the same. There's this density knob. Again, a feedback thing. Width, that's like the stereo image thing. Again, mix your subdivision to change if it's dotted or triplet over here. You also have like depth thing, modulation rate and things like that. And there are multiple modes you can choose from that all sound a bit different. But all absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so you can make beautiful stuff with both of these and Valhalla is free so as for the Valhalla I'm choosing the Centaurus mode I love it for this kind of use okay Valhalla and now for Gojira Axis thing I love them both, and now in the full mix. So, first up, Gojira Access Reverb and Delay. Beautiful! Now, for Valhalla. Pick your own winner, but... There probably objectively aren't any. Okay, beautiful. Again, if you want to download this plugin, it's in the description. And the link to a video about writing this exact riff with these harmonies is also in the description and up here also <laughs> let's get to the next one so as for this last one it's a riff i <laughs> it, it's interesting because this is from a retro doll called boska choil boska kiel sorry pronounce it wrong again and i combined it with modern metal as you probably noticed in all the other riffs and for this one we're gonna do a all-in-one comparison we're gonna do gujira and then amp roots straight after it no talking in between so you can really focus on the tone we're gonna start out with gujira x and then we're gonna do amp roots let's get straight into it
So, if you don't want to buy Neuro DSP because maybe you don't have money for that, which I totally get as a student, and you probably don't have to, but in the future, if you want to put out something professional sounding and awesome sounding, you will probably have to get a better plugin than amp roots. If you want to go like the amp sim way, if you want to record your amp, okay, that's something totally out of the pocket. <laughs> but, like, for most of my time being on YouTube and doing this stuff, amp roots totally served its purpose. But upgrading to Neural DSP, Archetype Gajira X, was an awesome upgrade and a really big one. So take that into mind and now make sure to watch this video because it's entertaining or make sure to watch one of the videos that are linked in the description down below of the riffs that we went through today. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.